Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Classes. So from this video, we are starting a new playlist that is DBMS, Database Management System. In this, we will learn everything we need to know about DBMS. So this is the first video, this is the part one. So first, we have to understand what is DBMS. So DBMS full form is Database Management System. So before understanding what is DBMS, what is database management system, we should first know about what is data and what is database. So I have explained what is data in one of my video in the playlist data analysis using Python. So I will give the link to that video in the description. Also, we just see in brief what is data. So data is nothing but the information of a person or an object and it can be of any type it can be in the form of the text images videos etc so it's a collection of small piece of information small piece of information now let's discuss about what is database now have you ever seen this kind of figure, this kind of cylindrical figure, then it is nothing but the database. It's database and it will store data. So database is something that will store the data. So it's a container of the data. If you can say it as a container that will store the data. So it's an organized collection of data. So database will be a container that will store a data and we perform different kind of operations to retrieve, insert, update and delete the data from the database. So there are some operations that we can perform on the database. So the operations will be Retrieve, insert, update, and delete the data from the database. And database, in database, the data is stored in the form of tables, can be of the form of schemas, views. And reports. So in these forms, a data can be stored in the database. If I talk about the database that is available in today's time, then the first name in our mind will become as MySQL and then Oracle, MongoDB, PostgreSQL. So these are some of the database available in today's time. So in this playlist, in DBMS playlist, we will understand also the SQL. And SQL stands for the Structured Query Language. As the data is stored in the database, now to retrieve, to fetch, to insert, update, like to perform any kind of operation, we should first need a language. And that language for MySQL is the SQL, that is a structured query language. And it is only useful for the relational database. In relational database, the database will be stored as in the form of rows and columns. It will be stored as table in the form of rows and columns. And we can fetch and we can perform any kind of operations using the SQL. This is the language that we will understand that we will learn after the DBMS, after the after learning all the concepts of the DBMS like keys and nap, etc. Now the question comes like if you have not ever heard about the database, then you have seen some websites. For example, if I talk about the IRCTC or any airline websites, then what you do, 
you if you have to check for the train if you have to check for the flights then you go and you fill the form like you have to go from the station whatever the station will be to the station and then the date of journey these type of things if you fill in some kind of text box then if you press enter or search then some kind of information will be present in front of you on the website and that information is coming from the database so let's suppose ircTC has a database this is the database of ircTC it has all the information about the trains when it will start from where it will start when it will arrive at the destination everything is mentioned in the data in the database so when any user there is a user that will fill the form of from to and the date of journey it will go to the database and then from the database using this information whatever the data is matched with this information that will be fetched and present in front of the user on the website that is the simplest example of the database in real time also with the flights also if you are going for the hotel booking also you first search for the like rooms available if it is available what are the features it is providing these kind of things is mentioned in the database and if you want to see you will fill a form on the website and that form that information will go as a query it will go as a query to the database and it will give the result in the form of whatever the user and the one who has created the application he has first designed how the result will be shown to the user and in that form the result will be shown for example if he has created a table then the information will be shown to the user in the form of tables like that so this is something that you can call it as retrieve operation because we are retrieving some kind of information for example if this person has made a reservation if he has made a reservation then his data will get inserted into the database and that will be called as a insert operation that will be called as a insert operation if he has cancelled the reservation then that data that is stored in the database will be deleted and that will be called as a deleted operation or delete operation if he has updated the date of journey for example he wants to go on this day but after two days he has updated the date of journey then that will be called as a update operation so this is something that we are performing using the database so we have to understand what is database management system so in the next video we will see what are the types of database and what is database management system if you like this video then please do like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos on the database management system i have also started a playlist for the data analysis using python in which i am started the pandas tutorial so if you are the one who wants to learn dbms or data analysis using python in future i will start any other tutorial also so please do subscribe to my channel and also press the bell notification thank you